Right folks, welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at a number of different formulas. We're going to be looking at len, we're going to be looking at upper and lower, left and right, mid, bind and value. Okay, so let's go and start off with len. So what does len actually do? Well, it tells us here that len determines the number of characters in a string. So if I use that formula equals len, I open up my bracket and I select my particular cell, close my bracket and hit enter. There's my answer. It's giving me six, right? Let's see, C-A-R-L-I-N, that is six characters. Let's do the same over here, equals len, open my bracket, select that particular cell, close it, and it's giving me an answer of nine, okay? Let's just have a look at this. John has four, Paul has four. So that should be eight, shouldn't it? No. Reason for that is the space in between also counts as a character. So this is why John Paul, even though it's four and four over here, the space in between, it's counting as a character as well. And that's what gives us nine. Right, let's go to upper and lower. So with upper, it converts all the letters in the string to uppercase. So here we go, equals upper, we open up our bracket, select our particular string, close it, and you can see there, let me actually just zoom in, it's converted it to capital letters. I'm going to do the same here for John Paul, so you can see that again. Select my string, close the bracket, there's the formula over there, hit enter, and there you can see it's all in capitals. Now let me just change this. And then our John Paul over here as well. So what does lower do? It does just the opposite. It converts all the letters in the string to lowercase. So let's go and have a look. Equals, gonna go with lower, open my bracket, click on the string, close it, hit enter, and you can see all small letters or lowercase. Go again, equals lower, open the bracket, click on the string, close the bracket, I hit enter, there you can see, this is what lower does, it converts all those letters in the string to lowercase or small letters, and uppercase does just the opposite. Right, then we get a little bit more complicated, we've got left and right. So left extracts the left n characters of a string, so we already know when it comes to n, n can represent anything. So let's let's go and try it out. Let me just zoom in here. And let's go and try it out. So we're gonna go equals left open bracket. And there you see I've got two arguments already, my text. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I need to indicate well how many characters. So let's just put in the number two and hit enter. And you can see it's extracted from the left, the first two characters. Why? Because in my formula, I've said equals left, B5, it's the cell over here. So from the contents of that cell, from that string, I want the first two characters, or I want two characters, but it's gonna start from the left side, okay? If I use the same formula here, I'm gonna go equals left again, open my bracket, select this cell now, and I'm going to say one, no, comma one, hit enter, and there you can see it takes the first letter. If I use the formula right, right, what does it do? It extracts, it's exactly the same, but it extracts from the right hand side. So if I go equals right, open my bracket, click on that string, and I say comma two, you can see it's taking the first two characters from the right hand side. Okay, so you can see these, these are just opposites over there. Then we've got mid. So what mid does, it extracts n number of characters. Again, it's entirely up to you what the question paper asks. Starting from the nth position. In other words, you must say from what position it needs to start from in that particular string. All right? So let's, let's, go, let's go and have a look at this. Let's go equals mid. We're going to open up. I'll bracket over there. Sorry, I just want to 
zoom in so you can see nicely equals mid open our bracket okay equals mid and then we are selecting a string that's our string over there and what do we want let's say we want uh, we want to start from character number two and we want three characters okay what does it give me two three zero so let's let's just go and have a look at our formula this is the string c7 i'm starting from the mth position from the second position the second character which is number two from number two i'm asking for three characters that includes two so it's two three zero and what's my answer two three zero now let's say i change that and i want it from the starting from the fourth position remember the first number indicates where you start in it from the second number indicates how many characters you want so now it's zero three two i said i'm starting from number four so that's one two three four it starts with zero so it should be zero three two and my answer is zero three two so that's what how we use mid right then we've got find so find determines the starting position of a substring within a string right so let's let's go and see how this works okay so we're gonna go with fine i just want to enlarge this quickly okay so it's equals we're gonna go with find and now we need to say okay well find what what sort of what sort of text are we are we actually looking to find Okay, so we've got equals find, then we're going to put in our inverted commas. We're going to put in our comma, another inverted comma, our comma, and then the cell uh, that has the actual string. Okay, so remember we are looking to find the starting position of the string. So we're telling it, listen, have a look through, you know, the first section, have a look to where it's been separated and... Uh, you know which cell are we looking at we're looking at c10 so this indicates first and second and when i hit enter it gives me an error now why is that um, because i'm using semicolons so i need to change this to a semicolon and then it gives me eight right so let's let's go and have a look at why it's giving me eight uh let's look at hambury one two three four five six seven eight so it counts that comma so um after character number eight that would be the starting position that that comma over there that would be the starting position of my substring within a string okay that is how we determine that All right and then the last one we're looking at is value so value converts a string that represents a number to its numerical value so let's go and try this out I'm going to go equals value and we're going to click on our string close it hit enter and now it's giving us a problem okay why is that okay so that's giving me a problem because the string that i need to have must represent a number okay so this is not going to work let's let's try a date Let's go with 1 January 2021 and use exactly the same formula. Click on our string, close our bracket and hit enter. And now you can see it does exactly what it needs to do. Converts a string that represents a number to its numerical value. So if there's something wrong with the string, the formula is going to come out incorrectly because you can see this is a very simple and straightforward formula. So guys, I hope that helps you understand all of these formulas over here. Len, upper, lower, left, right, mid, find, and value.